everyone welcome back so today is a highly requested video many of you have been asking me for quite some time now to go over all of the tools that I use and kind of doing like a tour of my toolbox so that's exactly what I'll be doing today I'll go over each and every single drawer and just talk about all of the tools that I have where I got them and why I got them but I've also been getting a lot of requests about what wheels I have in my Shelby. In a previous video that I did where I talked about my Shelby and the Camaro, I showed that I got aftermarket wheels, but I failed to say where I got them from. So let me just mention it today. <laughs> so these are the Apex SM10 wheels. These are track wheels, but you can also use them in the street. They're way lighter than OEM, and I know many people ask me too, how's the brake caliper clearance? Well, look, I could, pretty much fit my entire hand here. So there's no issues with that. And they are having a sale right now. So they do have a group buy offer. So you can get these wheels for $400 less than what I paid for. So I think that's a great sale they have going on now. So again, if you have a Mustang and you're interested in these wheels, check out their website. I'll make sure to leave all of the details and the link to their site in the description down below. And I've also been getting a lot of questions from you guys and a lot of requests to do a Q&A. The last Q&A that I did was back when I had like around 60,000 subscribers, so that was quite some time now. I've gotten a lot of subscribers since then, and a lot of you have been asking me so many questions, so I thought, let me just do an updated Q&A, so I'll be doing that pretty soon. So feel free to leave me any questions that you would like to know in the comments down below, and I'll be gathering all those questions and doing a Q&A pretty soon, but now let's get on with the tour of my toolbox. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So this is my toolbox, and I did get this from Lowe's. Sometimes I wish it was a little bit bigger because as you'll see in this video, not all of the tools fit in the toolbox but so far it's worked okay maybe in the future I get a bit of a larger one but let's go ahead and get started with what I have here on top so this is pretty much the prepping area so here I just have random things I have this painters tape that I use for the track or sometimes just to protect the paint when I'm doing installations I do have this Stita banner that I haven't hung up yet so when I <laughs> so when I purchased the camera paste they did send this to me and I still need to hang it up on the wall and by the way they did provide me a 10% off coupon so I'll make sure I leave it up on the screen right now and in the description and BMR I also have a discount code with them as well so I'll leave this in the screen and also in the description down below now I also have this little container here where I got this at Lowe's as well and this is just holds pretty much some random things like nuts and bolts washers I mean batteries this just help keep things organized and here <laughs> I have this little Raptor to scale I absolutely love it it looks just like the Raptor Funny thing that I found it in white because I almost never end up finding at least any of the cars here in this garage in the same color when I find these little scale models. So now moving here to this side, so this is what I was talking about that not all of the tools fit in the toolbox. So I ended up getting these little magnet holders and I also got these from Lowe's. Most of my tools are from Lowe's but the reason for that is because it's the closest hardware store to me. If I can't find things at Lowe's then I'll go to Harbor Freight or Home Depot and if I can't find anything there then I'll end up getting things for Amazon. But no, I know some people ask, are you sponsored by Lowe's? Because almost all of your tools are from there. No, I'm not. It's just for that reason. But let's move on. So these, I just have some screwdrivers here. I just have some shorty wrenches. And these were pretty much sold in a set, so that's why I have these. I have some gloves here that I use, which I'm running low on. I got these from Hybrid Freight, so I need to run and get these as well so this set right here i got from amazon so this is what i was referring to that i couldn't find it in any other hardware store closest to me so these are just this fuel disconnect tools and these were just sold here as a set i've only used this once maybe i'll use it in the future but i really did need it that one time so that's exactly why i got it now here on the side i have these offset wrenches so these i got from harbor freight and i got them when i needed to do the downpipes on the gtr i didn't need this much but they sold them as a set and it wasn't expensive so that's why i got all of these all right but that's pretty much it with these things so let's go ahead and start with the drawers so here i have many different extensions many different converter bits i feel that like you can never have too many of these because these have come in handy in so many times so that's why i have all of these here i also have a flashlight measuring tape unconventional sockets torx sockets hex sockets longer extensions here i have these hex keys or allen keys however you want to call it drill bits in these two cases here and i have these ratchets so as you can see most of this is from Lowe's for the exception of these ratchets they're Pittsburgh ratchets and I got these at Harbor Freight and also these long extensions 
pins here which I just recently got and once again it was to do the downpipes for the GTR so these also came in really handy but that's pretty much it for the first drawer let's move on to the second drawer of this tool chest so this drawer is just an assortment of all of my combination wrenches I have normal wrenches ratcheting wrenches flex head ratcheting wrenches that is such a tongue twister try saying that really fast I also have more flex head ratcheting wrenches here on the side and then once again this goes back to the issue of me not having enough space in this tool chest so I do keep some here but for the most part I keep the most frequent ones that I use here in this drawer and if you can see I have mostly metric just because that's the ones that I most commonly use but I do have standard here as well and these are all purchased at Lowe's most of them I got in a set so whenever I'm missing some I usually go and try to find one but they almost never do they just have it in the set so that's why I have so many here but it's always nice just to have so many different sizes and I did used to have mostly just normal wrenches but then I just opted out and just switched to ratcheting wrenches just because it makes life so much easier <laughs> at least for me in my opinion but I already know a lot of you are going to be asking wow does this stay this organized for the most part and I say for the most part it does stay this organized but I can't say that all of these stay here the entire time so whenever I'm doing an installation on something I do get like one or two or how many that I need and I just keep taking that taking them out of the drawer and they just end up hanging out in the garage until I put them back here but that's pretty much it for this drawer let's move on to the third one moving on to the third drawer so this is the socket drawer I have all kinds of sockets. I have short sockets, long sockets, these swivel sockets that once again, I just recently got these from Harbor Freight because I needed these for the GTR downpipe install. And ever since I've used these, I so much prefer them over these swivel bits because these just end up breaking easily and they can't even take that much torque to begin with. So these have been a lifesaver and have just come in so handy. And after the GTR downpipe install, I did end up using these once again. I have my impact socket, hex and torx socket sockets here, metric and standard. Here I have these pass-through sockets. Chris used them when he had the M6. I forgot what installation he was doing but it did require for him to use these pass-through sockets along with an allen key. I also have these longer sockets here as well. And that sums up the third drawer. Let's move on to the fourth one. So this drawer, I have to admit, there's not much going on here. I just have small pliers, large pliers, locking pliers. So it's just pliers on pliers on pliers. I also have this torque wrench here, but this is for smaller values, anything less than 80 foot pounds. I have a breaker bar. I also have this um, air tool that I use with the air compressor whenever I'm putting air. And I also have these other tools that I just use whenever I'm cleaning the car because these do blow air. But I do have two very life-saving tools here that they have just saved my life so I have this magnet here because whenever some bolts or some nuts or anything falls in the engine bay and you can't reach them this right here is what you use so I can't even mention how many times this has saved me and if this doesn't work then I use this other tool right here which is like a little claw so it'll just pick it up so those things just always come in handy now moving on to this fifth drawer here it's not really exciting either it's just pretty much a drawer with just random things here so anything that couldn't fit up here is just stuffed in here so I have this clipper removal set here which you guys have seen many times I have more drill bits here I also have my cobalt fender apron I have ratchets I have screwdrivers I have these chargers for any cobalt power tools here so once again this drawer is just stuffed of a whole bunch of things but now let's move on to this side drawer so this side drawer here holds all of my power tools so I have my electric tools and also my air tools drills this five pound hammer this is the larger torque wrench my impact gun I also have a large digital caliper here which reminds me I did forget to tell you that here in this drawer these little two boxes these are little small digital calipers that I use I have my jack stands here I have this air ratchet which let me tell you that I am not a fan of this I've used this before mainly for the GTR suspension but I just don't like it because you have to rely on air and this cord just having that cord there is just really annoying at least to me in my opinion so ever since then I have bought this one so this is just a cordless ratchet recently I did an installation where you guys will see in a few days I was doing everything manual and I wish I had this so ever since then I bought this and ended up using it towards the end so this has just been a lifesaver I think so far this is my favorite tool and I just have some other random miscellaneous things that I use here to clean the car, at least to clean the interior. So that's it for this drawer. Now, as a bonus, I'll show you guys what's in here because I know many of you are gonna ask. So let me show you. 
So this is pretty much my cleaning supply storage. Here I have anything for the interior, and as you can see, this is mostly for leather. I don't have leather in my car, so this is mostly for Chris's cars, for his BMW, when he used to have his M6, and for his GTR. I use this interior cleaner, this quick detailer for my cars. There's other just some rags, some brushes here, and then this, this has to be my favorite part here because this is for the exterior, and this is all just Auto Fanatic products. I'm a very big fan of all of his products. I always use it on every single car that I'm cleaning. And just some more rags, some wheel woolies here. And then here towards the bottom, <laughs> this is my most dreaded, hated tool. So this is the reciprocating saw. You guys have seen me use this, but this is, I just dislike it so much. But unfortunately, there's been some times where I've had to use it, so there goes that. And then as another bonus, I'll show you guys here this area here which not really a bonus because you guys have seen this in like almost all my videos so i just have some extension cords some hoses one that i use for washing the car these are for the quick jacks the air compressor hood light which i get so many questions for all of the time i have my pressure washer vacuum these lights all of these things are things that you've seen before and then i've also needed to buy tools such as these so this transmission jack stand i also needed to buy this auxiliary jack and these have come in so handy and i think that's pretty much it for tools i think there's only one thing that i need which is kind of like a bench or table i know a lot of you have mentioned it before and i need to get one i just pretty much haven't gotten because i haven't had space but I guess if I get one that kind of just folds then I could just put it like along the wall here because frankly I'm just tired of like working on the floor or just working on this bench right here so I do have to get one of those ASAP but just to recap so I will be doing an updated Q&A so make sure you send me any questions that you want me to answer in the comments down below I'll be making that video pretty soon once I get all of your questions and I know I'm gonna get asked this if you got all of these tools at once and no that would have been very very expensive but no these have been acquired through a long period of time some of these tools have been since florida and then they traveled here to arizona and then i've gotten a lot here in arizona as well as i needed for the installs and another thing that you guys are going to ask if all of these tools you bought yourself no uh so these tools have been bought between chris and myself if chris has needed some tools for his car or some specialty tools then he'll go ahead and buy them if i needed some tools for any of my cars then i'll go ahead and buy them as well so it's been a combination of us two but i think that's pretty much it oh and before I forget. <laughs> I'll make sure to link all of these tools, at least, well not all of them because I probably won't be able to find all of them, but at least the most that I can find of the ones that I mentioned in the description down below. So I'll have all of the links for them because I know you guys tell me that, at least in the install videos, I don't need the links for the tools and you guys are like just there like, where can I find this? So I'll make sure to leave the links for all of these tools in the description down below, so make sure to check that out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.